You're watching NBC Late Night. Most honored, most watched. No, no, no. Stand back. No, you can't come in. Hey, Pamela, what's happening? Well, you know my new TV show, VIP. Oh, the one where you play a bodyguard? Right. The professional actress that I am, I thought I'd take a job as a real bodyguard. I have my hands full. Really? You're actually guarding someone now? Who, yeah. who are you guarding? Oh, you sure do come on back in. My body be so serious. Guarding. What did I tell you about the ham, Mr. President? <laughs> From the NBC studios in Berkeley, The Tonight Show with Jerry Leno. Featuring Kevin Eubanks and The Tonight Show Band. And me, I'm Ed Hall. Jay Wilkins from the new show, VIP, Pamela Anderson Lee. Best-selling author, Stephen King. And the music of Natalie Merchant. And now, Jay Leno! in the audience you can see this, but they have a very exciting uh, opening season premiere of ER tonight. Uh oh, it's unbelievable. Right. I guess the doctors, yeah. The doctors have to do the Heimlich maneuver on the entire California Angels baseball team. <laughs> yeah, see that? That's bad. Get uh, out of here. Oh, man, it's costing me money now. <laughs> God, you can tell summer's over. Isn't it get a little chilly in outside? Have you noticed yeah. that? A little chilly here? Back, back in Washington, D.C., listen, it was so chilly, Monica Lewinsky was playing with lit cigars. Ooh, just... <laughs> But, uh, actually, little cool today, kind of a breeze. The breeze was five miles an hour today here in LA. It doesn't sound like much, but that's enough to topple Ally McBeal, really. <laughs> and the camera puts on 10 ounces. That's why she has to stay so slim. Man, the weather's been crazy all over, too. This Hurricane George. Is it George? Just call it George. What is it, George? The stupid name they got. What, did you see it hit the Virgin Islands yesterday? Did you see that? In fact, apparently the hurricane invaded the islands with such force, they are no longer virgin anymore. <laughs> Well, let's see what's going on in Washington, D.C. Oh, Congress voted not to increase the minimum wage. <laughs> Those poor people, they'll just buy liquor with the money, won't they? <laughs> That's what they, they voted not to increase the minimum wage. Well, let me tell you something. When it comes to doing the minimum for their wage, Congress knows what they're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, they... Oh, they... <laughs> you know, they might buy food with the money. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, let's see what's going on, going on with the president, or as his critics are calling him now, Lick Willie. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, look, when is this thing, even I'm getting tired of it. Like, all this legal mumbo-jumbo with Clinton and his lawyers, hey, you know, what is sex, what is not sex? You know, I think I finally figured out what is sex and what is not sex, okay? What is sex is what Clinton is not getting right now. <laughs> That's what is sex. <laughs> You know, the whole, I'm not one side or the other. They, both sides are so slimy in this thing. I'm sorry. You know, both sides. Now the House Judiciary, or Juicy Committee, as they call it. <laughs> now they're trying to decide how to punish Clinton. You know how we should punish Clinton? Just turn the hose on him. Hey, quit doing that. Come on. Just, just have a hose right there in the Oval Office. As soon as it, hey, hey, hey. You know, just turn the hose on the guy. Simple as that. President 
President Clinton not getting much help from his peers. Uh, yesterday, former President Jimmy Carter said he, he deplored and was deeply embarrassed about what's happened at the White House. As you know, Jimmy Carter is involved in that charity group. What is it, Habitat for Humanity? You know, they build houses for people who can't afford them. Well, today, it was a very good organization. Yes, today, today, President Clinton said he is going to do something similar when he gets out of office. Uh, he's going to travel around the country, help build hooters in cities that can't afford them. You know, there's a lot of the smaller cities. A lot of smaller cities cannot afford Hooters. That's true. You know, you know, we said, oh, the big cities, sure. Everyone you know. should have Hooters. Well, you know what's interesting? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I said, everyone should have Hooters. That's right. I agree. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> well, it looks like more and more of Ken, Star, Ken Starr's report is not factually accurate. Seems there are a lot of mistakes. Remember the story about uh, President Clinton, Monica Lewinsky, allegedly having sex in his rocking chair? Remember that? Not true? See, actually what happened was, it was a regular chair and the rocking part didn't start until the second. <laughs> so it was technically not, not a rocking chair. <laughs> and Vice President Al, I'm going nowhere in 2000 Gore. <laughs> oh man. King of the world! <laughs> Come on, glub, glub, goodbye Al. <laughs> oh man, he, he's sweating. <laughs> he's sweating bullets. You know, he's nowhere near Clinton now. You know, when Clinton's in Hawaii, he's in Afghanistan. You know? I, I support him, I'm just not around. Now, and you know, poor Gore, he keeps getting questions about uh, President Clinton. You know, it's ironic. I mean, someday Al Gore will be known for saving the spotted owl, and Clinton will be known for hiding the white owl. And that's about just about pretty much the way it is. I don't know if you heard this rumor. According to the New York Post, big pals in the entertainment business are preparing this a huge house, a cushy job, and a plush office for Clinton if he decides to leave Washington for Hollywood. Have you heard that story that President Clinton may get a job in Hollywood? You know what was amazing? You know it was really interesting that if Clinton left Washington for Hollywood? In one move, the morals of both cities would go up. Really. <laughs> oh, yeah. you think about it. <laughs> oh, here's an odd story. I thought this was kind of fun. Uh, you hear what happened today at the White House? This is true. White House spokesman uh, Mike McCurry revealed that a large furry rat was seen in the press briefing room. They're having a news conference, and there was a rat right there. Yeah. I guess they caught it when it tried to mate with Sam Donaldson's toupee. Apparently, <laughs> apparently it's all on its face. Yeah, apparently it's... Oh, here you go. Here you go. That's just... Just to show you how bizarre, this is just getting unbelievable. The Pentagon now has banned several magazines from all U.S. military bases, including Hustler, Penthouse, and Big Butt Magazine. <laughs> big, big Butt. That's the name of the magazine. Big Butt. <laughs> well, you know who in the military likes to read Big Butt Magazine, don't you? <laughs> Rear Admirals. <laughs> oh, no, Big Butt Magazine. That's the name of it. Have you ever... Anybody here ever heard of this Big Butt magazine? Never. Kevin? Never. I, I, well, you get it in hardcover. Yeah. No, no, I've, I've never... What, you know, what, actually, what they, had it? A, they, had a, they had an interesting article in it this month about the uh, German, the German Deutschmark versus the ruble in the international market. And really? How, in, yeah, how in it would Big affect, Butt magazine? Big Butt magazine. Well, what do they have in Big Butt magazine? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> going nowhere. Actually, we have footage of them removing all the... This is true. That now they're going taking dirty magazines. Well, show this. This is from the Pentagon. The actual footage of them taking dirty magazines out of the Pentagon. There they are. There, as you can see, that's the Pentagon there. Okay, and they're apparently putting in a van. I'm not sure what. What is this footage? Let's see. <laughs> oh, here's a another strange story that was in the tabloids. It said that a Paris woman underwent surgery.